Hello and welcome to this session on Enterprise Data Center Interconnectivity. The WAN is critical to the business operations of your enterprise. It should have the ability to not only support the key trends of today, device proliferation and diversity, user behavior and machine growth, and cloud adoption, but also meet the challenges of tomorrow. The WAN has to be reliable, scale, perform and connect while being economical and enabling business growth. The key WAN touch points of your enterprise network are data centers, branches, campuses, dispersed geographical locations, access to public internet, remote employees and partners. The WAN is the critical network glue that holds and connects your enterprise. Data centers are amongst the most critical components of your enterprise business. Historically, data has been replicated from a primary to a backup or disaster recovery data center over a data center interconnect or DCI. However, the role of DCI has undergone a transformation with the rise of virtualization and cloud computing. DCI is now paramount with virtualized data center resources and assets spread or clustered between different locations. Need for consolidation and backup data centers becoming additional production sites. Also, DCI has to be able to stretch and extend layer two networks that are local in scope from one data center to another across the WAN. The ability to extend these local network segments is essential for the V-motion or workload mobility migration of virtualized server or storage between data centers. Business continuity and business agility necessitate such capabilities to ensure minimal impact to business operations. With V-motion, DCI has gone from supporting steady data rates to bursty new forms of data. If you have two or more geographically distributed data centers, you can interconnect them for resiliency and disaster recovery. You need to consider your DCI infrastructure if you plan to move towards cloud computing services based IT model or deploying private cloud applications, want to integrate and acquired organization's data centers, want to support virtual machine mobility, that is vMotion, plan to replace multiple separate or dedicated links, consolidate data centers, or improve data center resiliency disaster recovery practices, or want to improve economics involved. In a typical virtualized data center environment, all sites have to be in production and contain pools of virtualized machines or resources. With vMotion and workload mobility, your enterprises can move virtual machines and applications on them across data centers based on requirements. You also need to include plans for possible disruptions caused to normal business operations. What are the key trends that can impact your DCI? Your employees are increasingly bringing in their personal favored consumer devices of choice into work the BYOD or bring your own device phenomenon. Many of these BYO devices are mobile or wireless. So you now have an increasingly mobile workforce that can work from anywhere, anytime. Your employees or partners who may be at different geographical locations need to communicate, collaborate, and deliver services or work together. With the increasing mobility of the workforce, diversity of consumer devices and bring your own device trends. Your enterprise needs to be diligent about compliance as well as corporate and public data security while maintaining access to applications and data independent of location. In the past, DCI meant supporting data transfer, backups and disaster recovery over low bandwidth IP-based links between data centers. But now, DCI has to transport huge volumes of data and applications, support bursts of virtual machine mobility, all over low bandwidth DCI links. This makes it impossible to improve productivity through application and data availability. The combination of vast amounts of unstructured data 
collected for analysis and the computing powers available in the cloud are driving the adoption of a hybrid cloud model. Whether it be for business continuity, disaster recovery or agility, you need to be able to move virtual machines, applications or data across data center locations. This requires a layer 2 network to be available over the DCI. Traditionally, LANs and virtual LANs have fulfilled connectivity requirements that are local to data centers. So what you have now is a set of discontiguous network segments that are local to a data center. However, it is not possible to fulfill any business continuity or agility requirements with such a segmented network. Stretching the VLANs is imperative to avoid breaks in connectivity. Data centers today can be interconnected, for example, using dedicated fiber links or over the internet. Using dedicated fiber links can quickly become expensive, especially if the links are not utilized to full capacity. Another option is to use encrypted connections over the internet between data centers. While this may save on costs, application performance and productivity may be impacted. In either case, it is not possible to meet business continuity, disaster recovery, demand elasticity, and business agility requirements since such options do not extend the VLANs across the WAN. Your enterprise is faced with pressures of business and growth while having to deal with operational deficiencies. To overcome the challenge, you need seamless, flexible, scalable, and reliable connectivity between geographies. What is required is a transport mechanism that can carry VLANs across the DCI between data center locations. What is required is an interconnectivity across the WAN for business continuity, but with LAN-like characteristics. Think of it as a local network extended between locations. Virtual private LAN service VPLS and multi-protocol label switching MPLS are open standards based technologies that are well suited to meet the needs of a DCI. VPLS is the preferred open standards based approach to stretch VLANs across the data center interconnect. VPLS can deliver a flat layer 2 network across the DCI, making VLANs in two different data centers look like they are directly connected as one flat network. VPLS as a technology can support the stretching of VLANs either over large distances or between adjacent buildings. MPLS-based WAN transport can support and carry multiple types of WAN technologies such as frame relay, ATM, or IP. It supports the stretch of VLANs and privacy. So your regional, departmental, and project-oriented groups have control over their network assets and configurations for MNA. Fine-tuning of the network to deliver appropriate levels of services for enhanced end-user application experience and boost in performance. It also has inherent resiliency abilities to avoid disruption to your business operations due to failures. With VPLS and MPLS, you can add new services or applications onto a shared physical network in a matter of minutes without disrupting production services or operations. Whether it is connecting two data centers or more, VPLS with MPLS can scale to meet your business needs. What is the Juniper Network's DCI solution? Juniper's data center interconnectivity solution is based on VPLS and MPLS. The VPLS-MPLS interconnection easily extends the layer 2 network between two or more data centers. For example, two data centers could contain virtualized storage and compute resources that are on separate VLANs. With vMotion, of the storage and compute between physical resources in different, different data centers, the VLANs need to be stretched across the MPLS transport in the DCI. For this, the VLANs from within the data center are mapped to the MPLS paths and carried over the MPLS transport in the DCI. MPLS 
terminates at the VPLS service edge boundary layer of the data centers. Business continuity is maintained using MPLS resiliency mechanisms which provide a fault tolerant connectivity. MPLS also has mechanisms to control and prioritize bandwidth usage. With VPLS, the physical DCI network can be partitioned into several logical VPLS networks. These instances are entirely independent of each other, thus satisfying compliance and security requirements. The standards-based approach is highly scalable in terms of inter-data center bandwidth, number of servers and applications, and supported number of data centers that are interconnected. The traditional approach to synchronize business growth with network infrastructure has been to add more links and devices based on need. Such an approach can deal with the immediate issue at hand but not address the fundamental problem. This reactive approach typically results in multiple dedicated links between data centers which have very limited utilization. They also severely impact the ability to scale the network and make it complex, thus reducing the adaptability to changing business needs. All this results in huge costs. The Juniper approach is to provide a shared, reliable, and scalable DCI network that eliminates the need for multiple dedicated links. Local network segments within the data centers can now be stretched across the DCI with VPLS and MPLS to enable end-to-end -end communication between data centers. vMotion between physical servers can be carried out either within the same data center or across dispersed locations. While VPLS allows network partitioning and extension of L2 segments, MPLS provides a shared transport mechanism to carry various types of traffic between data centers instead of relying on dedicated links. Being able to share the physical network infrastructure reduces operational expenses, meets compliance requirements, and increases the flexibility to change with business needs. MPLS is important to the WAN landscape because it provides a consistent network technology for service delivery. Being standards-based technologies, VPLS and MPLS are well suited to support DCI convergence. Deploying open standards increases your ability to adopt new solutions as they become available. Open standards also enable your enterprise to participate and defining future technologies that will align well with your business goals. VPLS and MPLS are an excellent choice for a multi-vendor network which needs to connect data centers without having to extensively replace equipment. You have large volumes of mission-critical data, applications, and assets in your data centers. You need to proactively connect them to ensure business continuity, disaster recovery, demand elasticity, and cloud readiness. You may be considering data consolidation or virtualization. You need DCI for all this. Business continuity and disaster recovery plans are built on the foundations of redundancy and reliability. The Juniper Network's DCI VPLS with MPLS solution does not just provide redundancy. It provides smart redundancy that is cost effective. Interconnecting data centers is not limited to ensuring business continuity through redundancy. As the business grows, the DCI effectively handles peaks in application, service, or data demand and keeps the business operations agile and elastic by supporting workload mobility and virtualized resource migration. Discontinuous segments can be stretched across the DCI into different data centers, thus enabling you to move your virtualized resources based on load and demand. The Juniper Data Center Interconnect, based on open standards, helps scale infrastructure easily and affordably as your business grows while being scalable in itself. Having open standards not only ensures best-in-class solutions for your network, but also helps you avoid a costly artificial lock-in on proprietary implementations.
Simplification through consolidation achieves both better economics and also seamless connectivity across dispersed locations over a shared physical infrastructure based on your business needs. The Juniper Networks DCI solution helps you build a network that can grow and enable business growth, maintain continuity of operations, and be agile. Thank you.